Well, things are getting warmer out here in the shop. Just hooked up my uh, little Christmas gift here. It's a Amazon Comfort Zone electric heater, 5,000 watt. I don't know why I figured I could open it up and there would be maybe a length of wire or something to hook it up with, but I was wrong. Of course, uh, never really bought one of these before, so. Um, kind of wanted it for, you know, that initial, you come out in the shop and you, know, you can turn it on and take the chill out. And then, of course, once you get the fire going, warms up pretty nice in here. It's just got a... Uh, getting sidetracked now, but don't know if I uh, told you about my Aero wood stove that I got for $50. It's actually uh, meant to go inside a house. It's meant to go right up against a wall. Um, plugs in. It's got a blower on it. Blows heat right out of the sides on both sides. Um, so, it eats the wood pretty good, especially when you just got pallet wood. This is uh, about 12 pallets I cut up just the other day. For some reason, you got to leave that door cracked because if you close it up, it just uh, puts the fire out almost and just kind of like smolders, which is... Uh, good I guess if you just wanted a low heat for inside your house but out here you know we got no insulation so um, you know you got to fight pretty hard to take the chill out especially when it gets down into the single digits outside but we are fighting the the hole too um, heat kind of escapes up through there so I gotta come up with something to cover that up kinda of wanted to build a door or something up there and enclose that little so you walk up there and there's an actual door you know so that's all enclosed but one day but anyway back to the old uh, comfort zone I just hooked up got it for Christmas and uh, came out here day after and uh, I noticed that already in the garage there was this kind of weird plug that I hadn't seen before. Kind of had the prongs went sideways. It said 250 volts. And uh, it was hot. It does have juice. And it's going right to this old style with the screw in fuses. A couple of breakers. So, don't know. Maybe they had one of these heaters or something like that, but out here at one time. But um, didn't know really it was for, but I was hoping that I could use it instead of having to hardwire in anything. And um, talking to one of my uh, my friends there, also a YouTube viewer, and uh, friends of them on Facebook said he had the same heater, so he helped me out and. Uh, told me about it and uh, what I needed but went down to the hardware store bought this plug four dollars and uh, I said I need you know a length of 12-2 uh, wire and they didn't really have anything there and the guy said you know I could sell you an extension cord heavy duty one of course would be way too long and more than I need and way too expensive because the hardware stores that are up here, they want a million dollars for everything. They think everything is gold because it's a long ride to go to a Home Depot or a Lowe's. It's about um, 
a little over an hour to get to something like that. So I went down to uh, the next town over, hardware store that I like. It's called Crandall's Hardware. And uh, I know the kid in there. And anyway, they didn't really have it. He's like, you could use some Romex or something, but, you know, it might be overkill. I don't know. But anyway, I came, uh, I came back. I bought the plug. And uh, oh. Two-year-old Amazon uh, motion lights, still working great. Um, yeah, I got a bucket out here. Throw all the cords that I get when I'm scrapping, you know. And uh, so I had remembered that I scrapped this big concrete saw and. Uh, big like industrial type concrete saw um, don't know why I said that twice but now you know exactly what it is anyway had this cord uh, cut it off threw it in the bucket it's actually 12-4 um, so heavy duty it's a little guidance from my buddy there I'm not too good with uh, electrical type stuff, and uh, he told me how to hook it up, and I had to go right in, this bottom panel came off, popped out that little plug there, put it in, wired it up, and we're on. Pretty happy with it so far, I think it was, uh, it was a little over a hundred bucks, I think. Um, not too bad, but I've had it on for about an hour. Of course, the wood stove's going, not too much, but we're uh, not too bad. You know, it's about, uh, I think it's in the 20s outside right now, so it's not too terrible, but um, I kind of thought it would... Um, you know, blow a little harder, a little more, a little more on the fan, but, uh, that's about it, and I mean, put your hand right there, you can hardly even hold it there for too long, it kind of burns, so it is putting some heat, you got, uh, you got a crank right on 5,000, but you can switch it up, and then of course you got your little thermostat in there. So, I don't know, I was kind of trying to figure out where I wanted to put it, and uh, I thought maybe that was the best, time, you know, best place, I mean, it's right near the plug, obviously, but kind of, it's got a, three positions there, you can, you know, unscrew that little thing and move it wherever you want, but like I said, I am fighting this hole here, I'm kind of heating the upstairs, which sucks but and then you can fire up the old arrow and uh you know truck like this fits pretty good in here still got quite a bit of room to work around it um had uh had a guy's duramax four door in here the other day had to weld a couple things on there for him. Um, that wasn't too uh, too garage friendly. That was all the way up. Couldn't walk by, and it the door just shut behind it. So, uh, but we got it in. We had the heat on, and uh, we're out here. T-shirt. I always say that we, that everyone that makes a video always says we, you, you never, it's like you get it, you turn on the camera and you don't say like I'm out here, t-shirt, you gotta say we're out here, I don't know, but anyway, anyway too, 
say that a lot, but figured, you know what, people want to do stuff, my garage, you know, take up my space, now nah, I got to do some stuff that I want to do, and uh, I'm getting real tired of that exhaust leak on the old uh, 454 here, so we're going to start to, uh, see, we, but um, we're going to address that. So, those of you who follow my videos probably know all about this truck, uh, 1980, with that one year nose that everyone loves, not, um, it grows on you, the V22 option is what it's called, and uh, in 1980 you could either get the round headlights or you could get a nose like that, face only a mother could love. But, um, pretty original this thing, 454 Turbo 400, um, being in 1980 they started to get a little stupid with the emissions crap, and, uh, you know, it does have, you notice, this side's still there, got these little trees that, they're like smog tubes that come out of the manifolds. And uh, I think it had a smog pump at one time, but it's gone. And they tried to pull the emissions, the crap, out of the exhaust and, you know, re-burn it so it's better. But um, turn the light on here. Um, you can see on this side. Those things uh, tend to rot off. Those little uh, little tiny tubes there. And <clears throat> after a year of owning it, they were leaking, and this side finally just uh, I was doing something, and I leaned on it, broke it off. So took it off and uh, just kind of butt plugged it, filled filled it with weld, and uh, can't really see it, so I'm not even going to try to show you, but. Both cast iron manifolds here on both sides are actually cracked, and that's where a lot of that little t -t 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 comes from um, when I drive it. And of course, it's gotten worse over time. Um, it does have uh, dual exhaust on it already, and it's just got a couple of quiet flow masters that kind of just end right at the rear end there's no dumps or anything it had tailpipes but they got rusty and I just uh, one day just got sick of them loosening up and moving around and I just saws all them right off so it's, uh, I don't know if you can see probably not um, yeah you can see the flow master in there it just kind of ends right there and uh the exhaust between there and there, it's not too bad. It's still, still pretty solid. Um, so, had these for a while. Brand new set of headers. Nothing special, just some, uh, you know, cheap old brand. But uh, they're actually Flotex, but they they stepped up their game and they they make the flanges thicker now. Uh, they used to make them real chintzy, but so had those for a while. I wanted to get them on, but you know the truck always, always doing something with it, making money. There's the rest of the stuff. Uh, got some gaskets here somewhere. Yep, right there. Go. So, wasn't really planning on driving the truck too much in the winter didn't drive it last winter um, but kind of been the start of the winter here I got a lot of calls for uh, junk cars so kind of needed it and it's a long haul um, to bring them in so it's 
been great, but it was time to bring it in, let her get warm, and uh, start going after this exhaust. And you know, these have some pretty big bolts, you know, so usually they'll come out even on the old uh, 80s, 70s trucks. When I first got it uh, at the other place I worked uh, as a mechanic, I pulled it in one day and changed the oil, and real quick I had a few minutes. I tried um, a couple of the bolts on the manifold right at the front, and they didn't feel too good. I mean, they felt like they might snap off, so I didn't really do anything further. So I kind of was always in the back of my head. One day I'm going to have to fight with these bolts and get them off. If I want to put some nice headers on and get it all, you know, sounding good. Uh, but, came out here. And, <clears throat> for the most part, you know, a little bit of tapping, a little bit of this and that. Um, they started coming out, a couple of them. I had to use a little heat, heat them up a little bit. Uh, but, seems like uh, towards the front they're harder to get out and then in the back they just sort of uh, are just coming right out which is the simple uh, it's got like a half inch drive ratchet with actually uh, I'm using a 14 millimeter you know six point it seems to be working out better than anything else I have uh, grabs them pretty good so start on the hard side first And then obviously this would be the more easy side because there's not a lot of stuff in the way. So my plan would be to uh, get the headers all on there, all nice, all tight, nice gasket, all set, sealed up. And of course I'm going to have to, these pipes just sort of, you can kind of see maybe that one comes down and turns, but cut those off. And hopefully, I, without too much problem, I can hook up my uh, my collectors right to those. Probably weld them up, and then uh, finally get rid of those stupid Flowmasters. They're like the dumbest ones ever. Uh, and same friend who uh, was nice enough to help me hook that heater up. He sent me these a while ago. Yep, that's right. They're still sitting there, waiting to go on. This is, um, these are actually Jones. Uh, it's like a Jones full bore muffler, kind of like a Magnaflow knockoff. Um, bullet muffler type thing, I guess. Uh, as you can see, there's not too much muffling going on. But it's kind of like a glass pack, I guess. I don't know. Never had anything like that, but I do like uh, glass packs. And he sent me those. So he told me, make that big block sound like it should. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Full length headers. And... That's all, uh, that's just water. There was still some snow and ice in the bed. It's been kind of melting off, but <clears throat> there you go. Get rid of those stupid things. And just basically got some, you know, decent pipes. See how they turn and go right up. Cut them off, hook them up. We're going to put those bullets back here, and uh, we're going to put a couple of ground pounders. Yep, we're going to dump them right at the rear end. No tailpipes. So there you go. Saturday night, day after Christmas. Uh, of course, I hope... Uh, Everyone had a decent Christmas, you know, 
with everything going on, probably uh, tough to, uh, you know, go places, see family, whatnot like that. But, uh, it's a quiet Christmas here, and uh, so I got that um, that side pretty much all those bolts worked out and um, that's pretty good kind of helped me uh, sleep a little better at night at least some of them came out without too much trouble and uh, I think we might call it a night kind of tough to uh, leave the garage now nice and warm in here but um, I'm going to head inside and see what's cooking up you never know but uh, back in the day I'd be out here till well whenever it took I'd be getting those headers on and uh, hearing this thing roar to life whatever time it was back in the day but these days just work a little bit at a time couple bolts here, a couple bolts there. That's it. No rush. No need to rush and move the truck out. No, nope. Nobody's getting in. See you on the streets. <laughs> 